Interviewer is asked to create a fitness app with a timer for workouts. You need to focus on three core fundamentals of this app. First one is start the timer when the user begins their workout. Second, pause the timer when the user takes a break. Third, reset the timer at any point to start fresh. So these are the three main core functionalities that you need to focus. Now I'm asking a question to you. Do you know how set intervals works on JavaScript? Do you know the core fundamental of use state and use effect hook? Do you know how to clean up the use effect hook and lot more related question that interviewer might ask. So this is a react machine coding interview question that was asked to one of my friend during their interview. Typically you will given around 15 to 30 minutes to create this react component. Now you might think oh that's easy. I can do it. If you indeed know the core fundamental concept then congratulations you are well positioned to tackle these questions. However. There is a catch. The interviewer won't just ask you to write code. They will likely ask follow up questions and dive deep into what you have implemented in your code base. It's not just about getting the component to work. You need to understand the why behind your code choices and be prepared to explain your thought process. The interviewer wants to see not just your coding skills but also your understanding of react principle and your ability to communicate with your decisions clearly. So. As we go through this tutorial, I will not only show you how to build the components but also highlight key concept and potential questions an interviewer might ask. This way you will be prepared both discuss your code in depth during your next machine coding interview round. So now what I need from you to begin with this tutorial. First I want you to sit with your word desk calmly. Ensure your environment is pretty quiet. Have a notebook ready. Open your BS code and quote along with me. Trust me, the last one quote along with me is super important. Why I am telling to you, you will get an answer end of this video. If you come across anything you feel is important or worth remembering, jot it down in your notebook. You might be thinking, who is this guy? So I am Saikat Bhattacharji. I am a software engineer at Cruise. I have spent several years in the tech industry building real world user facing applications. Today, I'm here to share the knowledge I have gathered throughout my career with you. So my goal for this video is to boost your confidence and help you understand the core concept. If by the end of this video, you feel more confident and have a better grasp of these ideas, I would be thrilled you would consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a comment. Your feedback means a lot to me and helps me create more content that is valuable to you. But enough about me, let's not get too caught up in introductions. It's time to dive into the good stuff. Let's get started. So what I need from you, just clone this repository and open in your BS code. It's a very basic simple application that I have created with a create next step command. I have used Tailwind CSS for design, for quickly design our you know simple app and I have made the HTML structure for this component. So this is our front end UI. You can see uh, there is a three button start, pause and reset. Why? There is a three button because if you clearly observe uh, the requirement of the interviewer given, they need the three functionalities, right? Start the timer. So the, for that reason, we have a start button. To pause the timer, for that reason, we have a pause button. For resetting to point to start fresh, for that reason, we have a reset button. This is super simple UI. We'll focus on creating, make this app functional. First thing first, we need a two state. Let me tell you why we need a two state here. Since we need to work on the time, right? We need to store the time somewhere else, right? In a React, we store a value in a state, use state hook, right? So we need a state for to you know store the time below, right? This is the first one. Second one, we need a state to you know handle the pause, right? Is our uh, is our you know timer is running or not? To track this, uh, is pause true false? For that reason, we need another state, right? So let's create a two state first of all. And one is for is running, set is running. By default, it should be false. Okay. So what I want. Whenever people will click on the start button, right? Whenever user will click on the start button, I want to update that set is running is equal to true. 
okay let's let's create on click function and make set is running is equal to true okay so i'm expecting when people will click on the on click button our is running state should be true right now we need to work on the interval right so what is set interval right in the javascript it is nothing special what if you know how set interval works in javascript then it, it's the same thing in a react so in a react we need to we need to write the set interval inside the use effect right so let's create a use effect first so let's create an empty dependency for now right since i said to you we need to add a set interval inside the use effect right so how we write the set interval set interval actually has a two parameter one is a function first one is a function and another one is a milliseconds so the milliseconds mean delay like after what milliseconds you want our functions will be called right so in our case since we will calculate uh, the seconds minute hours right so seconds will be uh, the more prof uh, i mean proficient for us so we know like 1000 milliseconds is equal to one second that's why we are you know adding the 1000 milliseconds so what it be ha what it would be happen now after one second inside the function will be called right so what i want now i want my set time function will update will update after one second right after one second our set time function will be updated right that's what uh, i need so first thing how actually how we can clean up the use effect for that reason we need to return return a functions right here something like that right and we need to get the id let's say if we add let time timeout id right timeout id so timeout id is a variable and set interval will return us a id a unique id so we have to store this unique id inside the timeout id right now once our use effect will be uh, will unbound right what we need we need to clear timeout with the timeout id right that's what we need so by that uh, by doing that what it would be happen whenever your component is unbound your interval will be clear uh, let me tell you one more thing here okay first see how it behaves now we can actually console log this here console log time let's see okay use is that it's not defined let it's my bad okay okay we can see the console what it is running here okay we can see right four five six seven it is actually increasing after one second right now i want by default my timer will not run right once we click on the start button then it should actually you know start increment so how we can do that it's simple so we need since we are actually you know uh, handling one state right so what we have to do we have to keep these functions inside a condition inside a condition so condition would be what if and only if is running is true then you you actually you know uh, run the set interval right you you can execute the function after one second right since we added this dependency is running we have to definitely add the use effect dependency here is running right so now i'm expecting my function should not call by default right once we click on the start button once we click on the start button since we added that you know on click once you click on the start button after that my you know use effect will be triggered since we have added the dependency is running then my set function will start executing right uh let's see let's see okay nothing is calling right nothing is calling I, okay i have removed the console of my bad time so by default i should see the time is only just zero since the only zero nothing is actually calling right uh since it has a dip uh, it it has a condition only is running is true then it it will start actually you know increment the things let's let's click on the start button okay you can see right when you click on the start button it it start the incrementing the seconds right after one second it is in incrementing the value 10 seconds 11 seconds 12 seconds 30 seconds okay so far so good right uh, let's implement the pause functionality so pause is very simple pause is very simple what i have to do 
okay it should be on click set is running should be false okay right if we if we actually click on the pause button so set is running should be false right so when uh use effect will see dependency you know uh triggers what it will do if it if if it is so okay it is false right what it will do it will stop you know clear the timeout right it will stop the you know incrementing the value so if we see now 78 if i pause see nothing is incrementing right it is not incrementing now 58 was the last state you uh, you can see now if i click on the starter again it will it will start you know incrementing again so the start and pause is so far so good right whenever user clicks on the reset button right what it would be happen right so uh, we can create actually we can create a function const handle reset so what it will be right whenever user click click on the reset button we want time should be zero right and is running should be false so let's make it set time should be zero and set uh sorry is running should be false right so now if i click on the handle reset let's set this on click handle reset right and let's try to console log the time time and is running right so if i want to console log so by default first time it's a zero and false right so if i click on the start it's a true one true so you can see three true four true five true if i pause six false so last state was six and now my is running is false now if i click on the reset right i'm expecting time should be zero and is running should be actually what false so uh, now now it is actually you know uh, false right so let's let's click on the start so now seven true a true if i click on the reset you can see time is getting zero and t running is getting false because we have updated the state here once people click on the handle reset right so uh this is the start pause and the reset let's make our value is dynamic so for that reason i want to create a function i want to const format time right it will take a seconds it will take a second so seconds right it will take a second so time is a seconds right since uh, actually we are calling the set interval after 1000 milliseconds so 1000 milliseconds means seconds right so i want to return a jsx from here so jsx should be this jsx should be this and i want to call format time with the time right so i have called the format time function here and it is taking as a parameter time and i am receiving as a seconds here right cool let's add a couple of things hours right hours const minutes const remaining uh you can add a second right okay so what i need here second so what i need here uh seconds percentage 60 right i need a second percentage 60 because i want after you know 60 second i want it will start from uh it will start from 0 1 2 3 that's why i actually you know made it that way so minute oh let me let me put make it you know there okay so this should be seconds you know divided by 60 but but i need to actually you know pass it to the method floor because some number will be there same goes for this one floor i want to pass minute divided by uh 60 right so minute second okay now what we can do here so now what we can do here we can write hours right we can write a minutes we can write the seconds here we can write a seconds here let's see what how it uh okay uh it should be sec okay let's see how it behaves
okay by default our timer is this if i click on start okay see second is in increasing right four five six seven right okay i want one thing actually to be honest i want i want to add a zero here so if it is you know just uh eight or three four five i want zero five zero four zero three for that reason we can do one thing we can do one thing two minutes we can do the same thing for a second right let's see how it goes okay it looks good now if i click on start okay yeah let's wait for you know like 60 seconds let's see minute is in increased or not okay you can see now right uh minute instead got to just you know increase to one right because it has actually over the 60 seconds minute now zero one and second is increasing after 60 seconds it actually increased the minutes and second see it will start from again zero so i think yeah that's it and if we pause see our you know timer is paused now one minute 27 seconds right if we click the reset it will start from a, again i mean it will start from a fresh right so i think that's it if it really helps you i would request you to you know uh, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment your support means a lot to me i'll try to make more valuable content for you thank you